What's up, everybody? This is your boy, Eric from Easy Computer Solutions. And this is my first 24 hours with the Windows platform using Windows phones. So let's go down and dig a little deeper with my first 24 hours with these devices. Let's go. Hello guys, this is Eric again with another video. And so today I've been working with the Windows platform for the last two days. I'm doing a 30 day challenge uh, using only Windows devices and, and the Windows platform. So I'm using the Microsoft uh, Lumia 640 and I'm using the Nokia Lumia uh, 1520. Both of these devices is running Windows 10 Preview. Uh, so I want to kind of get that out the way and the reason why I'm saying Windows 10 preview because this is not final software Now working with the, the Windows platform has been a mixed bag for the first 24 hours Now I said it in my previous video that I was finding almost all the apps that I was looking for We're going to talk about the App Store first Now in the App Store I have found almost all the games that I was looking for except one and I, I said this on my Android video is that I love Clash of Clans unfortunately Clash of Clans is not in the uh, the App Store now that's not Windows fault but when we talking about a platform from switching from iOS and Android to Windows Phone sometimes uh, you're looking for certain specific apps uh, that's not available but that's okay I will give uh, Microsoft a, almost kind of a pass on that one app alright for the most part I got my phones customized uh, to my liking now I don't have my Syncs logo on these devices and the reason why is because I'm liking the Microsoft logo right now is kind of beautiful in my opinion. I like the way I customize uh, these apps and, and stuff like that. I love the live tile. Uh, so uh, the interface is very good, uh, very f uh, smooth and fluid, no issues with that. Uh, now the app drawer uh, didn't run into any problems with the app drawer, everything smooth and fluid on both devices. Uh, all apps pretty much open the same uh, overall I'm not having any issues for my first 24 hours uh, I'm like the way the integration with uh, OneDrive and OneNote and my, all the Microsoft integration is great kind of give you an example um, everything that I uploaded to my OneDrive account uh, automatically comes down into my my uh, collections in my folders here in my picture app which I like that um, so that I like I love the integration and uh, every time I take photos and videos and everything it automatically get uploaded to the cloud which I like and on both devices you can do that all right so I did let's talk about uh, video quality uh, I took this video from the Lumia 6 uh, Lumia 1520 and this device does a good job uh, as for, I mean, listen, a six inch device, 20 megapixel camera here, uh, and the video quality is pretty good on this device. Uh, it does a real good job, optical image st stabilization. Uh, when I took the video straight from New Orleans, I was on the riverfront, and uh, it does a real good job on uh, contrast and stuff like that. So. Uh, watching videos and uh, stuff like that it's a joy now since we're talking about videos as a youtuber I like YouTube I haven't found a good YouTube app and I know that YouTube and Google has this issue but I haven't found a good YouTube app uh, in the in the store now for all you guys that's Windows phone experts leave me a comment down below let me know uh, where I can find a good YouTube app because and this is some another gripe of mine that I have towards the uh, Microsoft platform is the edge browser the edge browser is is I don't like it it's real buggy uh, it's very slow 
Uh, and I know, again, I know this is not final software, so I have to kind of give Microsoft a pass. But uh, I like to watch my YouTube videos. And right now, uh, the only way to watch my YouTube videos, since they don't have a dedicated app, I have to go on the browser. And uh, the browser, Edge browser, to, in my opinion, is a little unstable. Uh, when I pull up YouTube and I try to watch my YouTube apps, uh, YouTube videos and stuff like that, it's a little jumpy. So that may be something because of the preview. Uh, again, I'm running the preview version, so I'm going to give Microsoft a pass. Uh, the, the YouTube apps that I found... Uh, YouTube HD and, and another YouTube app that I found in the, in the store uh, was not that great. So leave a comment down below. Let me know if you know a good YouTube app uh, that I could use. Other than that, my first 24 hours with the Windows platform has been pretty solid. The, like I say, the only issue that I have is my Clash of Clans uh, that's not available in the app store uh, and the, the browser. The Microsoft Edge browser is very buggy. Uh, but, but for the most part, I'm not having any more issues. I'm loving the integration with OneDrive, OneNote. Uh, all the uh, Microsoft Office is integrated in these devices. Uh, and it download, upload, download. Once you hit Wi-Fi, it does all of that uh, for you which I like. The gaming on these devices is great. I uh, watched my gaming video. The gaming on this device was very good and solid. The speed and fluid of, fluidity of these devices running Windows 10 Preview is okay. I still run into, you know, hiccups here and there, but I want to say that again, this is Windows 10 Preview. This is not final software. Now, other than that, uh, this is my first 24 hours with these devices. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about Windows 10 and the Microsoft Windows platform. Now, we all know that uh, you know Windows 10 Final uh, will come out on these devices very soon. As I record in this video, uh, we are January 15th of 2016. So uh, Microsoft promised that at the end of uh, this month, we will have a complete solid bill of Windows 10. So we're going to keep our fingers crossed and see if Microsoft is going to deliver. This is Eric from Easy Computer Solutions. I will see you on the next video. Peace.